Hello and welcome to Brit Twits. My name is Alex. I'm a twit of the controller. I'm joined today by Dan. How you doing, Dan? I'm very well, mate. So, so last episode, we uh, we were gonna go on a massive grind, um, but what we actually did was we tried to fight Jex, and now she got closer to beating him than we ever have before, right? So yeah, um, it was actually quite remarkable, wasn't it? Because it yeah. was a complete accident. Yeah. Um, so. What are we gonna, are, are we going to get back to grinding now, do you reckon? We're going to actually do yeah, some grinding for an episode. Now. I uh, think so. We're going to try and just go around. Basically, what we've established is we reckon our main issue is just having quite enough... Um, there we are. We, turn, we, we take off our knowing counter shield <laughs> because that will be detrimental to our attempt to grind. Um, oddly also, enough. to be honest, we probably should have taken it off before we fought Jekt anyway. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. That would have been absolutely shit against you. <laughs> Hello there, post-production Dan here. Uh, just to explain what, what we're doing, we're doing a little grind session here, which is a, it's about two and a half hours worth of footage. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it down. We're going to do a bit, a bit of bit of speeding up, slowing down sort of thing. And uh, what I'll do is I'll keep a little counter in the bottom corner. And there it is. And uh, that will tell us exactly how many beasties we had to kill to get ready for Jacked. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. And we'll see you guys soon. Love you. Bye. Um, yeah, so, so, more health on more characters, I think. We we basically want all of the characters to be able to, to survive one swipe, right? Which is about, about 3,000 damage. Yeah, that's, that was basically the issue that, that we identified we were having throughout the whole thing, was just every single time that we had a little Barney with him, we just lost somebody, which meant that mm. we had no action economy whatsoever. And if you ever played D&D &D with me, you know I go absolutely nuts for action economy. He loves the action economy. No, right, then. Yeah, he doesn't love the do. regular economy, just action economy. No, I do love the economy. We should all <laughs> buy houses. No, um, so, um, everyone, right now. Right now, off you pop. What are you doing the watching this? Go buy you... a house. <laughs> The more houses you buy, the more expensive they become. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, so, 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 it, yeah, so we're doing some grinding. That's basically what we're doing. For the first time in this entire series, we're doing some actual grinding. But what I was actually going to pose it as, so ignore your lion ears, is that we're going to kill enough creatures to get through that door thing that we couldn't get through before. That's actually a very fair, that's a good shout. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what we're doing. We're not we're not grinding. I don't know who told you that. Whoever whoever told you that, they're a very naughty boy. That's not what we're doing. Naughty naughty boy. Naughty. <laughs> what we're doing is we're just we're the bloody don't get killed by these this goon. Um <laughs> Oh what's it called? What's the what's the uh what's the thing about people doing like karate and whatnot you know that show what um, there's, a, there's a show about like karate kids but it's not uh, called karate kids Cobra that's, Kai. A, that's a film that's it Cobra Cobra Kai. Kai. <laughs> there we go hey oh, we, we beat our down. first monster it's actually it's actually a good shout like getting through those doors i wonder what's behind i wonder what's behind there do you know what's funny is that's actually the first thing we've beaten in four episodes. So talk about crazy. Uh, you've, you've done a Baldur's Gate review, which we mentioned yes. in the last episode. And uh, had it not been basically the entirety of last episode, you've not watched it. And if you've not watched it, why are you watching this one? Piss off. It's a numbered series on purpose, people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> please, please, watch it in the order it's intended. Uh, but like... Yeah, there you go. Well, nice. I think it killed it because it made it yeah. 9,000 damage a oh, swing. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> so Lisa's what, trying to throw me a cocktail. Lisa's trying to throw me a cocktail sausage. I didn't catch it, so, the Apollo, so Apollo got it. <laughs> oh, no! Is it a disaster?
Including this weird 516 error, which is apparently something that if, if you speak to the wrong vendor in like trade mode rather than barter mode, it will prevent you from saving for unknown reasons. Oh, wow. Until you go and talk to them and then turn back. Which is fine, apart from when you're a multiplayer and only one of you is actually really paying attention to that kind of thing. Because if you don't pay attention to somebody else's merchanting, and you're like, oh, cool. Guess we better try and remember when we last saved. And the thing is, I, I save all the time. But it's a very minor concern with the game. And otherwise, I agree with your assessment that it's basically the closest you can get to just... Like it, it, I, I love Divinity Original Sin 2. Yes. And it blows out of the water. Like, yeah, so I... I Well then, well then. We'll have to have a charisma off. You should decide <laughs> in the comments below which one of us is more charismatic. Dan yep. or me? We should do this, really. Um, I, feel, I feel this interact, interacts poorly with my creative vision for the game. I want fearsome adventurers slipping over grease of their own creation. You said you don't really have any classes and that you want to play. What classes and race and races don't you want to play? I kind of just I've I've never particularly enjoyed playing like Dragonborn and stuff. Oh, fair um, enough. I just I find I find anything that's just and like Drow. I don't like anything that's too edgy or anything that's too cool. Yeah, fair enough. Um, like. Do you remember when we did our little game with Joel? We did a little private game just between us, and yes. we didn't obviously we didn't televise that portion of our lives on that occasion. If we spoke um, about it a few times. Uh, don't don't can... high potion. Just 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 go go to the safe sphere, mate. You're, you're no, wasting just your in resources. Case. Just think. Oh, we don't need these. They don't they don't heal enough. Um, oh, true. We, I'll be using X potions only in that fight. That is true. Um, uh, we've got so much money as well. We should definitely try and buy some more shit. Especially if you're doing 6,000 damage with just Fira. Yeah, it's an unknown Fira. 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 not gonna muck around we want the xp it's taking so long to fight mm. through these things probably because we are actually a bit under leveled if i'm honest yeah um because we should realistically you know we should be doing a snatch here we should be going through bone like butter and yes. we're just not like, at all
because you've just gone too far, you've taken the piss. Because you should have to earn that over time and like build upon it and gain their traits. You just turn up and you're like, yeah, I'm a dragon and occasionally I just vomit acid at you because I wanted to be a black dragon because I'm basic. Um, <laughs> Basically, a uh, blue Dragon Ball Storm Sorcerer who, basically, whenever they use lightning attacks, they then gained a fly speed, and essentially the storm would take them away, and it's a really cool thing. I think you can do that in Baldur's Gate as well. You can have storm sorcery, um, but it's not whenever you use. It's whenever you do anything, like whenever you cast any spell, you can you then get a fly yeah gain a fly speed, um, which doesn't provoke opportunity attacks, which is incredible for like a, for like a sorcerer build who's like really squishy. Basically, a lightning charge is every single time you get a lightning charge, um, it will add some some amount of damage to what you're doing. I think it gives you like an extra one to hit, an extra one damage. Once you've got eight lightning um, lightning charges, it just expels the eight lightning damage on your next attack for free. So if you've got ways of just generating tons and tons and tons of lightning charges, which like the storm sorcerer seems to have, it's really really good. It's just that when it's explained in a vacuum to you at the start of the mm. game, where it just goes, as a sort of, you know, storm source, you'll just gain lightning charges. But it doesn't say what the payoff for that is, and they don't feature in, in mainline D&D. &D. Yeah, I look at that and I go, with cool, it? what can I do with that? I remember that it's being, my uh, favourite was... ability in the whole game, because it was literally, it, for me, it basically explained how a payday loans company worked. Do you know what I love about it is uh, because uh, so I've I've only done one one Empire event um, E3 this year, um, and um, one of the things that happens we, we we bumped into someone, or we were speaking to someone, uh, one one of the other players. Pretty cool, and um, and Alex said, "Oh, th oh, this is Don Tombry, as in my, my character's name." And he goes, "I've heard that name." <laughs> it's like, no, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you haven't heard of Don Tombry. There is because... no way. There is no way you've heard of. He's only just because existed. He's, he's existed in the game for twelve minutes. <laughs> you haven't heard it was of great. Don it, was, it, it was so funny. I was just like, I wonder where he's heard me from. <laughs> Well, he's so heard perfect. of you from our playthrough of Final Fantasy because they're legitimately just a mini boss in Final Fantasy. Yeah, and and I did say the next role playing character I get to play will be Don Tombry. Dan was going to give me a lift to the station and. Yes. Uh, how very we, we nice of like, me. How very, very, very lovely of me. It was to very, very that. good of him because the station is nowhere near. Like, I'm talking like it's towns away from uh, from from the, the the place we went to stay, and um, we basically did this thing where we got to a certain time where we'd been really we'd helped, but mm -hmm. it now reached the time where we must leave so that yes. I can get the train, and um, just like this victorious like right, we're off now. Off we pop. We'll see you in a couple of months' time. You know, nice to see you. Make all our goodbyes. Head off. Get into the car and then, like, plod back. Like, talk to Jacob who's there. Hi, can you... You know how cars work? It stopped. <laughs> Please fix. Yeah, so, Just, like, so, snot and tears. <laughs> so, 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 to, to, to explain... To explain the issue that actually happened with the car, um, essentially, when, when I got in the car, the car didn't recognise the key. And because it's an electric, it doesn't actually have an ignition, so I couldn't put the key in the ignition to turn it on. And the, uh, Apart the manual. Apart from the fact that the manual kept telling us to put it in the ignition. Yeah, the, ma um, the manual was was less than helpful. It's, but you, that's that's what I like about it. Is it's just the fact that everybody there and a lot of the people turn like the guys are on the coffee place. They're yep. like the most like hip, cool, alternative type people you can encounter. And they're like, yeah, we'll turn up in all our like old timey clothes that we clearly bought specifically for this, just to have a laugh doing it.
yeah, like if you, if you if you Google it or you YouTube, put it on put it in your YouTube search. Not now because you're watching this, um, and we need <laughs> need you to retain your view count. Uh, but um, no, you know, put it on um, put it on your YouTube search afterwards, and um, you'll legitimately find that they're like people who go and they've recorded the battles. And they're like in it, just holding a video camera. I said, I think to myself, I really hope that's just a little GoPro, you know, like something that it could be easily concealed. Because. Well, no, it's, it's, um, it's definitely one of those things that we should consider providing because it's. It's just a lovely, um, it's a lovely experience. Even if it's just a couple of pictures, I think we can probably do pictures. I don't know what the rules are. I have to look into it, and, and I won't because I don't care enough to, no, to exactly. check. Because um, all, all I care about when I'm there is going and having a nice time in situ. You know, I'm not really thinking about any of you. Uh, so, <laughs> no, in the exactly. same way as when you're experiencing your lives, I doubt you're thinking about Brit twits. Um, I mean, I, I, no, I hope they are. I mean, obviously you got to, right? <laughs> just all the time. Just like, oh, sorry, I, I oh, would I'm love to come out. <laughs> I'm not going to Julia's 50th because Brit Twits is on. We're trying to distract you from the fact that we're just grinding because we didn't do this interspersed within other episodes of the yeah, game. Yeah, exactly. Which is exactly. what we should have done. <laughs> Speaking of speaking of other things that, that that we're doing, actually, um, personally, um, I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be on two actual Play UK streams. these things are tanky have you tried armor breaking it yet i did armor break it that's the first thing i did oh it's dead good job luckily they do just like pass out an enormous amount of hp so xp so i don't really care that much <gasps> oh hello <clears throat> we've done the thing that we set out to do remember this is not a grinding episode <laughs> This is an opening doors episode. We got a level four key sphere. Worth it. Um, I need to look it up. But the, the whole point of the Mandela effect is is, is it's... <laughs> so the Mandela effect is people think Nelson Mandela exists. <laughs> That'd be quite funny. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 he's like Australia; he doesn't actually exist. You get no, it? No, I mean, that's right. I mean, I always misremember it as um, Darth Vader's quote is, "How are you going to fight me with one hand, bitch?" Yeah, it's usually yeah, no, that, how I remember it. It's just, uh, um, that's, that's, that's pretty much exactly what he says, actually. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that, that is the next line though. They're not. They're not the same line. No, he, that's what he says as he's gone down the garbage suit. Because Anakin was never particularly witty. <laughs> it took him a while to come up with the line. <laughs> Jar Jar as a concept is actually 
weirdly good. The problem was is that they made Jar Jar too good at being effectively just a complete impossibility as the villain. They they, they made they made him they made him uh, too good a wrestling heel. Exactly, yeah. I, I I think you're right, but I, I don't think Grievous should have gone away. I think Grievous, as as you say, maybe maybe replaced by Django Fett, which would have been would have been quite cool. Um, or even even if you if if you were going to do it, even bring Darth Maul in and actually have him be Grievous. Yeah, like, that's same fine thing, as right? well. Same idea, right? Like so, yeah. same idea, like like mechanical. Like had had to do something just to get his revenge on Obi Wan, which makes sense why he would go after him. minutes of discussions about trade embargoes yeah i I, 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 I don't actually remember that scene from when i was a kid like, i mean obviously i watched it part i post that if i watched it as an adult but again when i when i remember watching it, i was like i don't remember any of this happening as a kid yeah well you won't because it's completely yeah. unengaging yeah um it's as simple as that it just isn't something that uh, in any way would appeal to you as a child mm -hmm. um, yeah exactly Well, if if it, like oh, like if you watch uh, the Gungan the Gungan um, war the Gungan war the Gungan battle against the droids, I think it is right. It's um, I forget what the actual uh, battle, battle was called, but it's called something. Um, and how how even though he's clearly incompetent at fighting, he wins every single thing he does. Darth Jar Jar's behind it all. Yeah. No, and and again, that's the point. I I, I think I think maybe maybe that was the goal. But I, I think again, they, they had too much screen time. Yeah. He, he did he did too much. Again, as you say, he, he he was he was shown to be the bumbling idiot too much. So it went past the whole oh this is suspicious to oh fuck this is just a comedy character. It's a problem with writing. It's really hard to it's really hard to write and come up with characters that are believable and bright and witty and all. It's, it's really hard to do that. So I I, I get it. There's no way of making it clear there's anything actually going on that's just clever. Because you can't demonstrate clever stuff on a no, comic. No, exactly. You, you have to explain out. things in comics. Um. <laughs> Thank you. 
we used to find that we were part of a games club which specifically would run games for a set period of time like they're often yes. thought 20 weeks or something like that and 20 weeks sounds like a long time but it's not a ridiculous length of time for like a D&D game or Pathfinder or World of Darkness or, or Pick Your Poison you know um, but what we were finding was that that would enable us did I actually even bother to use the ability I wanted to use piss Okay, no, that's fine. Um, what, to get an ability sphere? I just need more oh, no, power, power spheres. I, I think you did use it. I think, that's fine. I, 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 I think you just didn't have any. Um, oh, no, I've fallen under the thing. Um, but yeah, that would, that's an amount of time where it really focuses the mind. You've got a limit to what you can actually really achieve in that time. But no, you do reach a point where, like, if, if there's no particular impetus to move on, um, you just sort of spiral and you run out of, of things to say um, yep. and things to do. And I think that's often where, like, Marvel sit. Like, a lot of the villains you we encounter are just similar ones across all of those um, across all of those stories, and that that's probably not a great place to be in. strange game where he, re he required us to level up two classes simultaneously because there are only two of us yeah. but we only got the higher hp of the two yes. and um yeah it was that was quite something so you played like a wizard <laughs> artificer i did yeah and just punched everything to bits of your wizard which was quite good fun it was really fun um, he was a gnome as well um uh oddly cogbender wasn't it i think his name was yeah. right but i think very very quickly joel just got sick of all of our shit <laughs> Well, so so we were staff power spheres because we put um we did some uh equipment stuff right and we used no no we, we up the um stats for valor and things like that we, we, we up the stats up. for we somewhat full-heartedly powered up our aeons yeah. and um considering how little we use them yeah and, and i don't necessarily think it was a bad decision because i think we're expecting them to be better like face yeah. tanks than they actually have been yeah Are they seriously not going to give us the capacity to save? No, because it auto saves now. So, um, so now, now you, well, we, you just want to spend um, ethers, right? That's probably the only thing we need, right? Yeah, I think so. And then we got to decide. Right, peace oh, shield. On, what are we having instead? Uh, go right down to the bottom. There's the Tetra shield with HP plus twenty. I think that's that's more than good enough. Yeah, um, and then Kamari, don't care about any of that stuff. 
you can have that because I don't really care about any of your things. You can have this <laughs> hilarious. It's got really knife. good like lances and shit. It's amazing. Like actually no, he'll have sensor because that's yep, the problem with Kamari. That's really good stuff, but ten percent of nothing is still nothing. Yeah. Um. Then that's fine. Yep. That's probably fine. Yeah, magic booster is pretty much it, right? Uh, you got. You did get a new staff there, major staff, which is better. That's fine. Yep. That's fine. Okay. Now she's got sensor as well. That's handy. I think that's everything, right. wasn't it? And then we've got to decide on our formation. Mm, it doesn't matter because you because you always start with Yuna, Oren, and Joel. Do we? Yep. Because I was thinking we try and start with Waka, Riku, Oren because yeah, she can you just don't hand out some stamina. But we'll see. We'll see if they let us. I don't think they will. No, you de you definitely don't. Um, shall we? Do we want to do we want to do a jet fight at the end of this episode, or do we or do we want to just do one jet fight for the for the episode after? Well, I think we we make it a new episode, then we can have a full on jet fight. Can you like, think put so. in some like klaxon noises over the top of that? I I, I can certainly try. Cool. A full on jet fight. That would be really embarrassing <laughs> if you don't put them in over the top. I mean, you're right. It would be embarrassing for you. <laughs> if, if you've enjoyed today's episode, why not leave us a like, comment, or subscribe? Yes, please. Uh, if you value our moxie, then you can join us in whatever game we flail and effectually at next. Yeah. Anything to add, Dan? Uh, all the regular stuff. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Twitch. All that fun stuff. Uh, where else are we? We're everywhere, basically. Come and follow us in places. Um, all the links will be in the description. All the links will pop up on screen. All that fun stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks all for, thanks all for watching. Indeed. On your way.